Scrub a dub. Nub. Scrub a dub. Zub. Scrub a dub. Tub. Scrub a dub. Blub. I've almost worn that out. I've only done that like 300 times so far today. It's like 10.45 at night, and I just finished editing yesterday's vlog, which was all Kaden Live, all open source Linux editing software. And in reflecting on that day, what I've realized is that I need to make sure that I'm leveling up my skill set as someone that's producing videos. And so I've spent a whole bunch of time thinking about this over a whole bunch of videos, but I'm gonna be a little bit more diligent about it. I've been focusing on audio for the past two, three weeks, and I think I've got it about 90% nailed, so there's still a long way to go, right? Like the last 10% is gonna take 90% of the effort, but I've made huge strides, right? The videos that I produce now don't have the same sorts of audio failures that I've had in the past, and my elimination of Adobe Rush is gonna solve a whole nother category of problems, but I still have so many things to get better at in terms of lighting, in terms of camera choice, in terms of lens choice. So we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna actually try out a whole bunch of lenses tonight and we're gonna see how does that shot composition actually affect what I'm doing right now. So all of this is gonna be filmed tonight on the Canon 6D Mark II. And we're starting off with the uh, very, very wide angle, 17 to 40 millimeter, one to four lens. So as you can see, we've got a relatively wide shot. I'm less than an arm's length from the camera and I, this feels pretty good, but it doesn't have the bokeh that I want. So we're going to swap out lenses. We're going to go from this out to my normal 24 millimeter lens, and then we're going to go all the way up to a 50 millimeter lens just to try things out, just to see how does this look? How does this feel? Because as I continue to evolve my storytelling, these are the sorts of choices I'm going to have to make in terms of balancing between like an STM lens, for example, that can autofocus really well quietly, but doesn't always have the right bokeh and doesn't always have the right presentation of the content. So let's go ahead and swap out to the 24 millimeter lens. All right, here we have my 24 millimeter lens. As you can see, I'm much more cropped in. And also if I wanted to, which I don't want to, but I could zoom, whoa. And the nice thing about this lens is it's STM. So if I lean back, if I get out of the frame, everything is gonna autofocus properly and not ruin the audio of my clips, which is really, really important to me because as I said, I've been focusing a lot on audio, but I think I can even do better than this shot because if I move the camera a little bit, I have a better setup, I can actually probably get that really, really nice bokeh. This is the same sort of shot that I do when I'm doing video calls, live streaming, etc., in the office for work. This shot is much too close. This shot feels actually pretty good. I'm still a little bit tight in the framing, which I don't like, and I'm way too far from the camera to actually do any manual adjustments, but overall, I feel like this is better. The one big problem with both my wide angle lens, as well as the 50 millimeter that I'm using right now, is they're not STM, which means they don't have a stepper motor, and that means the autofocus is really, really loud. And so I might actually be not in perfect focus right now, and that kind of sucks, right? Like the fact that I can't manually reach the camera and fix it, means that I just have to set it and then hope that I'm in the right distance away and that as I squint at the little viewfinder, I'm getting all that focus correction right. I could fix this by using something like a lapel microphone, but that's just another piece of equipment when all I want to be doing is turning my camera on and telling stories. This is the reason that phones are so amazing. They just don't have the same level of quality, right? Without that giant sensor, without the smarts that the DSLR is putting in there, the smarts of the phone just cannot compete. For reference, even when I'm not moving, this is what the clickiness of the 50 millimeter autofocus sounds like. That can't sound good. I've got a nice hot shoe mounted Rode microphone on top of my camera that's powered externally, but it still, it cannot overcome that click, 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 click as I move around the frame. And I don't even have to move far to trigger it, right? Like an inch or two in either direction while probably getting the focus right on point it's just ruining my audio. So this lens is almost unusable unless I've got these fixed setup pre-established shots. So I'm back on the 24 to 105 millimeter STM lens, which is just kind of my go-to and audio is probably sounding great. I just don't know what to do. I'm switching lenses like two to three times a day back primarily between 50 millimeter for my fixed setup and my 24 millimeter for kind of on the go style shooting. And I'm just not happy. If people have recommendations about equipment I should use, or even just the idea that I should stop focusing on the equipment entirely, 
I, I love that idea, but I just, whenever I look back at old vlogs, the quality does matter, right? Being able to see the texture on my skin and having well-lit environments and having clean audio, all that stuff really does matter. And so I really think that this is a necessary amount of fundamentals and foundations that I need to take the vlogging to where I want it to go, the vlogging and video production. Because now that we're in a remote COVID world, I'm doing two to three videos a week for various projects at Google, various personal projects. And so all of these skills are being put to work every single day almost. So I gotta keep leveling up myself and hopefully if I learn things along the way, I can share them and this is useful to at least one other person. If you like Twix, try putting them in the freezer. They're even more delicious frozen. That's good.